Welcome everybody. Uh, my name is Dave Anderson and I'll be moderating today's webinar, Zen and the Art of Mobile Development. Dan McGann, our Oracle Ace, will be presenting. And for those students returning, uh, you know to ask your questions in the chat window. And uh, as often and as frequently as possible, I'll feed them over to Dan and Dan will uh, respond with the answers if possible. Uh, for the first timers here, uh, don't forget to keep your chat windows open. Your question and answers will be in there. You'll also find some good information buzzing by as you as you uh, uh, watch and listen to Dan talk about mobile development. Uh, as usual, we'll, we'll, we'll attempt to record this, this session and it will become a tutorial on our website. So you can go to skillbuilders.com slash apex and you can see a list of all of the free tutorials we've got up there. Hours and hours and hours of good, good training, free training that's available to you. Um, so Dan McGann, our Apex author, developer, and general Apex advocate is here to teach us today. And with that, I'll pass it right over to Dan. Welcome, Dan. Thank you, Dave, and welcome, everybody. Thanks for joining us today. So this is me, uh, was me. About a year, year and a half ago, I had uh, just left a conference, it was K-Scope, and in the conference, I saw the Apex development team creating mobile web applications that looked just like native applications people were creating in, say, the uh, iPads and in the mobile phones of today. And I was pretty blown away by this. And I left the conference really excited to give it a try. And then the next day, I found that creating these mobile applications wasn't as easy as I thought it would be. Over the years, I'd attained a bit of knowledge about building desktop web applications, and it didn't really transfer over as well as I thought it would to the mobile world. So I went back to school. I bought a lot of books, and I got to studying. You'll see a few of those books here, uh, some of the more important ones. And out of these, perhaps the most important is the book on Steve Jobs, his biography. Steve changed the world of mobile development, both on the hardware side as well as the software side. What we saw him bring to the world was a lot simpler than what we had seen before. And the reason for this is that Steve was very Zen. It was a big part of his, his lifestyle. And in the world of Zen, you'll encounter words like this, less is more. And when you read them, you'll feel at peace. Um, oh, sorry, uh, where were we? Right, uh, less is more. Here's the thing about these words. They can be a little deceiving, especially in the world of mobile development. If you think, for example, that because you're creating a mobile app, it's going to be smaller, so it'll probably have fewer pages, maybe less content, fewer columns, less items, that it will be easier, you're wrong. In the mobile world, less is more effort. Because every pixel matters, you're going to have to put more thought into what you put in a screen. Does that content need to be there? Does that column or item need to be in the page? If not, you need to eliminate it. And that's why you have to put more effort into your mobile web apps. My advice, just keep this in mind when you're starting in mobile development, and you won't be as disappointed as I found myself on my first day. So what are we up to today? Well, I'm going to create a mobile web app. Uh, we're going to do this in Apex 4.2, which was the release that brought this really to the forefront, made it real easy to do in Apex. Along the way, we're going to take a look at some common mobile design patterns, and of course, we'll then implement those patterns into our application. What is a pattern, you may be asking? Well, in essence, it's just a proven solution to a common problem. If you think, for example, that you're the first person creating a login screen to a mobile application, again, you'd be wrong, right? People have done this, they've experimented, and they've learned uh, 
And oftentimes it's easier to learn from what others have done. There's no real need to always reinvent the wheel. In addition, these patterns can serve as inspiration. What's the best way to display that piece of information? Well, you might want to study up on lists and tables in the mobile world. At this point, you may be thinking, wait, these patterns sound cool. Where do I find them? Well, there's a book for that. This is one of the books I read. This is the Mobile Design Pattern Gallery by Teresa Neal. On the right, you can see the various chapters within the book and the number of patterns. And these chapters are really important. They cover all kinds of things from navigation to tables and lists and search and feedback. Really important information in here that can serve as inspiration.